Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take advantage of gift lists for your Shopify store. It's incredibly powerful, we're gonna jump right into it. And first thing I wanna talk about is the power of gift list functionality. And uh, you might be aware of gift lists, wish lists, registries. There is a ton of power in offering gift list functionality on your store. It's really all about kind of creating this shareable sales tool. And that's what I really want to stress. This isn't just a flashy feature that you want to add. This isn't a nice to have. This is a very powerful sales tool. When used correctly, gift lists can create huge amounts of sales for you. And we're talking about high conversion rates, very, very low return rates, and big on-store, on-site engagement. This is really giving customers the ability to have your products in their gifting considerations. And that's a really kind of big thing right now, especially kind of in this ecosystem of gifting or the gifting game, as I like to call it. Gifting is a really, really big per, uh, percentage of purchases on e-commerce. And what we wanna do is kind of get our store and our products involved. So there's a ton of power when you have gift lists on your site, and there's even more power when you can get your store integrated with the leading gift list site in the world. And again, the reason that we do this, not for a flashy kind of addition to our site, but we wanna see high conversion rates and low return rates. Think about it, these are products that customers themselves requested on their gift list. They're not gonna be returning them. They're not gonna be saying, oh, this isn't a gift that matched what I want, right? It's literally exactly what they want. It's the ability to kind of set up this very powerful, uh, shareable sales tool. And there are some pain points that you might run into. Uh, first of all, there's no built-in gift list functionality with Shopify. So we're gonna use an app. I'm gonna show you the one that I use. We'll go over the shoulder. I'll show you step-by-step -step how to set that up. But I really wanna explain the difference between a gift list, a wish list, and a registry. Three totally different things in this kind of gifting game, as I like to call it, or the gifting overall market. And uh, you're probably familiar with registries. They're for milestone events, right? Your baby showers, your weddings, right? Gift lists are shareable and designed for basically other gifting occasions. So you're gonna have your registry for these, you know, kind of once in a lifetime events. But what about things like birthdays, holidays, housewarming events, right? Things that happen year round, multiple times per year, every single year, that's where a gift list comes in. And the difference between a gift list and a wish list is a wish list isn't inherently shareable. It's really for having those private or, uh, organization of products that you like and you kind of have it inside your account and it allows you to uh, kind of just organize things in there. We're missing the shareability of it. We're missing the kind of idea of the conversion, right? The actual finishing, right? The purchasing of the product. That's why we like gift lists so much. It's really all about kind of sending people to the purchase point and getting those conversions at a very high rate. So how are you gonna do this? Well, you're gonna use my registry. This is what I use. This is what I highly recommend. We're gonna go over the shoulder. I'm gonna show you exactly how powerful my registry is for your Shopify store. You're gonna add gift list functionality. You're gonna get integrated with my registry, the leading gift list site in the world. And you see the link directly below this video. This is the registry and wish list app by myregistry.com. And this is myregistry.com. And this is really the leading site for registries, for gift lists. And the whole idea is that this is a little combination. When you install this app, again, you see the link directly below this video, you're gonna add the uh, gift list functionality into your store. And it's gonna be very powerful. We're gonna have all the kind of, um, uh, kind of functions that we need to have an internal gift list for our store, but we're also gonna have the integration into the myregistry.com gift marketplace. Pretty simple gift lists and gift registries create more sales. Fully customizable, of course to our brand, I'll show you step-by-step step over the shoulder, how we're gonna set this up, how we're gonna have the add to gift list button directly on our page here, and literally as easy as clicking that, where your uh, customers are gonna be able to add and create their own gift list, which will be uh, fully customizable in terms of look, field, text, and be integrated with, again, the biggest gift marketplace on here. When people create their registries and their gift lists, they're gonna do it over here. Now your products can be integrated just from this app. So again, you see the link directly below this video. Let's go ahead and install this. All that we need to do is press the add app button. This is gonna bring us back into our Shopify store where all we need to do is press that green install app button. And then we're gonna get sent into the onboarding here for the My Registry app. And it's very simple to get started. I'm gonna walk you through everything that you need to do 
in terms of getting us going over here. And we'll step through this onboarding here. You could follow along step by step. And uh, it's really simple to get started, right? First of all, we're gonna go ahead. It's gonna pull in your store logo automatically. You could change that if you wanted to use a different logo. Of course, you can give your store a different name, but it's gonna pull all this stuff automatically. It's even gonna pull your colors, right? So we have my red color scheme over here. I've got a red, black, and white color scheme. And now we have different options over here. And I talked about this briefly, you know, the idea of uh, the difference between a gift list, a gift registry, and a wish list. And, you know, a registry typically for those once in a lifetime events, weddings, baby showers, etc. Wish list, this is gonna be more so for private stuff. We wanna play with gift lists. And this can be for any type of event, birthdays, holidays, anniversaries, things that happen every year, housewarmings, graduations, really any gift giving occasion. It allows you to enter into the gift market here. And we wanna go ahead and select that, but we do have the option to do any of these different types. We're gonna be going with gift list, of course. And again, here are the different options over here. And you see over here, this is kind of the view that we're gonna be getting. It also looks really good on mobile. We'll be able to take a look and just kind of see how that looks. They have these great tool tips over here as well. You can click into here and it's gonna describe exactly what's going on with the gift list page, what you can customize, exactly what the setup's gonna be. And again, just talking about having a manual link, we'll set that up. Now, uh, again, you could change your color, but it's gonna pull your automatic button color over here. So probably gonna to wanna to stick with that. You'll just match it with your brand. Now it's very important. This is kind of the, uh, the big function here, add to gift list, right? This is gonna be added right under your add to cart button. And uh, this is very, very powerful. And I envision this to kind of be a default for uh, really e-commerce stores of all shapes and sizes now and in the future where we have the add to cart, but we also have that add to gift list button. Again, great tool tips over here. Gonna talk about the add to gift list button, the button style, the button color, really all about what you can customize here. And this is again about the look and feel and functionality of that button. And uh, the button style, we could just match it directly with our theme. We're gonna of course enable our button over here. We need to do that to make sure that we have it activated. We could change custom color over here if we wanted. We could change position as well. Really just depends on how many buttons you have over here. I always believe that under or next to the add to cart button is gonna make the most sense in terms of these two main decisions. Now we'll click next. Again, very, very easy to get all this started. Now it's simply prompting us to add our gift list to our navigation or to somewhere on the site so people will be able to actually go ahead and take a look at their wish list, of course. And this is just gonna kind of be a very, very uh, simplistic example. All we need to do, go to online store navigation, and we're gonna go ahead and have the uh, automatically created gift list page. So we come over here to online store, we'll go to navigation, and it's up to you in terms of where you wanna add this. You could add this to your header navigation, you could add this to your footer navigation, or any other of the different uh, menus that you've created in your Shopify store. We'll go ahead and add it to our main menu up top over here. We're gonna click add menu item, and we'll come back over here, and I'm under pages, gift list. We can give it a different name if we want. We could add it. And of course you could rearrange this just like any other page on your menu. And I'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the uh, updated navigation. We now have our gift list button or our gift list link over here. So this is kind of just what's creating over here in terms of that setup. Really very simplistic. Now that we have our gift list fully set up inside of the app, let's take a look at how the customer is going to see it. So we have our little product over here, and of course we have our add to cart button, but we now have our add to gift list button as well. So we'll click add to gift list, and it's gonna prompt us to go ahead and create a gift list account over here. You see everything is branded with our logo and our color scheme. So I'll enter in uh, name, email, password, and go ahead and click create gift list. It's as simple as that. And what's gonna happen now is a gift list has been created. And we can continue shopping, continue to add more products into our gift list, or we can come right over here and click manage my gift list. When we click that, we'll be brought right into our gift list page. We can go ahead and walk through everything, fill in our information here to complete our gift list and making sure that we have our shipping address. So when anyone actually purchases products here, they'll get sent out correctly. So with that set up, we now have our gift list and uh, we can go through our catalog and literally just continue to add products into our gift list. This is such a powerful sales tool here. Literally, the person creating this gift list is telling people, hey, I want to buy this product. Literally, I want this product. I want this one. You could put it in exactly the uh, specifics in here. You could even put notes in it. You can create different categories and we'll simply add this right into our gift list and we can continue shopping and continuously add more product right into our list. Customers can find and manage their gift list anytime by coming up here into the gift list tab right over here and they'll be 
prompted to log in if they aren't already logged in over here. And they have the ability to, of course, share this right out over here. You could share the link, you could share it through social, you could share it through email. And again, this is meant to be a totally shareable sales tool. The navigation link over here for gift list is also really valuable. This is a great way for guests to find lists. They come over here, click on find a, a gift list. And all they need to do is enter in the name of the person right over here, click search, they'll be able to enter right into that gift list. So I'm back over here into the data dashboard and I'm gonna show you, we have our signups and our gifts added, right? We just had some gifts added, you saw right on the screen over there. So this analytics over here are gonna show you the important key stats about what's going on with your gift list and with the gift list that your customers are creating. And of course we wanna see this number go up, when we see people start to share their gift lists and get those purchased products in there, we'll see that count rise. So now that we're on our gift list service dashboard, there's some other things that we can take a look at. We have FAQs over here, obviously great for support. I invite you to read and go through these, kind of just give you the uh, overall understanding of what this app can do. We we'll also wanna talk about coins, I'll cover that in a second. Contact us, we can go right over here, open a support ticket, they have great support, very, very fast response times as well. So we'll come to the data dashboard. Of course, My Registry works off of coins, kind of like their virtual currency. You get 20 coins for free just to get started. And uh, you see there are some different add-ons over here that uh, you'll be able to get in the premium section. A couple of the cool add-ons, the uh, analytics dashboard and the customizable backgrounds for the gift list. So that was My Registry and the gift list and gift registry app. Again, you see the link directly below this video. I highly recommend it. I mean, it's a no-brainer to install this app you're gonna get that gift list functionality. It's gonna drive sales. You're also gonna get integration into MyRegistry.com, literally the world's biggest, the authority for gifting. So get this installed in your store right now. Again, watch this video. You got the step-by-step -step in there. If you need any help, post a question, but I know this is gonna help you make some money. So I'll talk to you real soon, and I hope this helps you out.